Hey guys, Slim here. I just wanted to start the video off before we actually get into the content with saying we're going to be doing a $25 Robux gift card giveaway inside the Discord server. The link for that's going to be inside the description below, so don't forget to join. It's going to be because, again, the 100 plus subs that we got and all the people that had been joining that server. So let's go ahead and get into the content. Today's video is going to be about farming for shards with mini bosses and bosses because they move around it makes it kind of difficult unless you know specifically what to do so the first thing that you want to do when you're farming a boss is actually to take off the send all fighters in the settings if you have it on and you click on an enemy it'll send all your troops but if you click again it'll retreat however if you turn off send all fighters it'll actually behave a little different clicking once will send only one of your fighters and click again to send more but what you want to do is actually hold click when you hold click it'll send all your fighters at one time this as if you had send all fighters on and you just single click the advantage to this is actually something that happens if you hold click and then hold click again yeah, i send my fighters and then i go to hold click again it retreats and sends them back I use a stronger boss as an example so you can actually see it a little better. So using this bigger boss as an example, if I hold click, it sends all my fighters and it says retreat. And when I go to hold click again, it sends them back. So for bosses that move a little left and a little to the right, what you actually want to do is pick about two spots. One a little to the left of where you see it at when you're fighting it and one a little to the right of it. You go hold click and then you go and hold click on the next spot. Even if the boss is within both of those, the range of both of those clicks, you won't accidentally send your fighters off from clicking on it twice as you would if you had send all fighters on. So if I go here, if I retreat, if I attack, let's say this spot's still too close and it clicks on it again, I stopped attacking. I only got a, a split second of damage in there. And the reason why you want to click on the two separate spots is if the boss is a little off to the right here, this first click is going to miss it. But if the boss is a little off to the left here, the second click is going to miss it. So this makes it so if the boss spawns within a little area here, you can still actually click on it to get your damage in. Another good use for this is actually if you're farming, let's say, for some Flame City shards, but you're also opening at the Flame Star to try getting maybe Red Bat. What you can do is you'll send your fighters in a couple of different spots, hold clicking, and then you start doing your opens open for a little bit of time and you're doing this on a macro so it'll repeat all this for you stop your opens and then repeat again the boss can spawn in a little area just about this where i'm circling so as long as you're clicking across in a line like this if the boss spawns a little forward back left or right or anything you're covering all the ground for it and you're doing hold click so you send all your fighters at it at once and then you go right back to doing your opens so we're going to talk briefly about macros using one of the more popular ones which is tiny task here on the screen this program pretty much all it does is record your action so your mouse clicks your key presses all that kind of stuff and the way that this program works is when you open it first thing you want to do is go to these preferences here at the end it's pretty much just the settings make sure continuous playback is toggled on and then you want to set your recording hotkey. So this will actually be when you press the key, it'll start recording your actions and your playback hotkey, which this will start just playing exactly what it recorded once you hit this key. And then when you hit it again, it'll stop. So using shard farming as an example, I'm going to farm this mini boss. So start off the recording and then I go ahead and click, click, do my thing i just wait now for the boss to respawn after my fighters kill it i usually wait an extra second or two just to account for varying respawn times so one second two second in that area and then i stop the recording and then once i go and do the playback button for it it's going to go ahead and start you can actually see on the little tiny task ui that's up there the little window that it says one slash zero it's pretty much showing how many times that it's played back the recording. So I have about, what, a 17 second recording, 18 second recording. And go ahead, start to fight it again, repeats the recording, and it's just going to keep doing this process over and over again. 
So if you're AFK farming shards, it, this is definitely what you're going to be wanting to use. Tiny Task is one of the more popular ones, easier ones to use. There's definitely other ones, but for simplicity and ease of use, uh, this is definitely the more common amongst the fan base of this game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and good luck on the grind.